Hello, you are welcome. Here, yeah, how to solve this nice algebra equation. We have x root of 18 minus x root of 30 equals to x root of 50. From here, we can divide through by x root of 50, and this is x root of 18. Now, divide by x root of 50, then minus x root of 30 divided by x root of 50 and on this side we have equals to x root of 50 divided by x root of 50 then from here we can write this as 18 raised to power 1 over x following the laws of indices, then divided by 50 raised to power 1 over x as well here, then minus here, we have 30 raised to power 1 over x, then divided by also 50 raised to power 1 over x, then here, this cancel each other, we are left with 1 here, then from the law of indices as well, we have same power. Then we can write this as 18 over 50 raised to power 1 over x, then minus also 30 over 50, all raised to power 1 over x equals to 1 from here. Then we can reduce this inside this bracket. 2 we go, we have 9 over 25 left, then raised to power 1 over x, then minus here, this cancel out, we have 3 over 5, then raised to power 1 over x left, which is equal to 1. Then, also here, we can write this as 3 square over 5 square. Then raised to power 1 over x, then minus 3 over 5, raised to power 1 over x equals to 1 on this side. Then from here, also the power of 2 common, we write this as 3 over 5 all square, then all raised to power 1 over x, then minus 3 over 5 all raised to power 1 over x equals to 1 from here. Then, in the next step, we can interchange this power from the law of indices, and uh, this will be 3 over 5, all raised to power 1 over x, then all square minus, here we have 3 over 5, raised to power 1 over x, then equals to 1 from here. Then we have 3 over 5 raised to power 1 over x common. So we can use a letter. So let's a letter u now. Let u be equals to 3 over 5 all raised to power 1 over x. Now this equation can now be written again as u squared. Then minus u equals to 1. Then when we take 1 to this side, this becomes u square minus u minus 1 equals to 0. Then we can solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. So this will be u equals to minus minus 1, that's minus b, plus or minus square root of b square minus 1 square. Then minus 4a, a here is 1, then c here is minus 1, then over 2a, 2, 2 times 1. Then from here, this gives us u equals to 1, then plus or minus square root of 1 plus 4 over 2. So from here, we have u to be equals to 1 plus or minus root 5 over 
over 2. So we have two possible cases here. We have u equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 or we have u equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2. And don't forget we represented u as 3 over 5 to the power of 1 over x which is equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 here then also on this side we have 3 over 5 raised to the power 1 over x as u which is equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 now here they give us a positive number and on this side we have this to be negative so this cannot be equal we don't we won't work further in that area then we have this side now we can take the log on both sides we have log 3 over 5 raised to power 1 over x then equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 from here then when we apply the our law of logarithm 1 over hex you take it to the back here we have 1 over hex log 3 over 5 which is equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 from here then we can divide both sides by log 3 over 5 divide this side by log 3 over 5 then also we divide this side by log 3 over 5 then this cancel out on this side we are left with 1 over x which is equal to this side we can apply the law of log reading and we can separate this into two log when we have division it will be subtraction of two log so we have log 1 plus root 5 then minus log 2 from here then divided by also from here we have log 3 minus log 5 then since what we are interested in finding here is x when we take the reciprocal on this side it will give us x that means we take the reciprocal on both sides then if this is x now, then reciprocal here will now be log 3 minus log 5, then divided by log 1 plus root 5 minus log 2. So here we have the value of x, which we can also put as decimal then x will be approximately equals to minus 1.0617 so here we have the solution to the problem thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more exciting videos give a thumbs up put your comment share this video thank you see you next class then bye for now